Do you ever feel like you're being pulled in a million different directions and like you can't focus enough on any one thing? You're committed to having a great career, a healthy body, and financial stability. You want to be a great partner, parent, and friend. You want to have an active social life, volunteer in your community, and pursue your favorite hobby. You want to have it all. But there's only so many hours in a day, and you eventually become so burnt out from trying to balance everything that eventually you give up and settle for mediocrity. In this video, I want to talk about how embracing the imbalance of harvest seasons in our life can help us escape the trap of trying to juggle all our commitments at the same time so we can maximize the fruits of our labor. I read about this concept for the first time in a book called Take the Stairs by Rory Vaden. I've learned a lot about different time management techniques over the years, but this is a metaphor that has really stuck with me, so I hope you'll find it valuable as well. Basically, the principle of harvest seasons says that maximum results are achieved by unbalancing your effort for a predefined season. Think about the cycle of how a farmer works. The farmer does work hard year round, but they only work for 18 hours a day during the harvest. For a few weeks out of the year, the farmer knows that working as hard as he can for as many hours as possible will yield the highest results and sustain him throughout the rest of the year. By imbalancing his efforts during this predefined season, he can achieve the greatest results. This intentional imbalance is at the core of creating great results with the harvest principle. If you think about it, we have seasons of all sorts of things. Athletes have pre-seasons, post-seasons, and playoff seasons. Accountants have tax season, retail stores have the holiday season, and students have final exam season. In our own lives, we have seasons of education, seasons of learning a new job, seasons of dating, seasons of work, seasons of retirement. Whatever the season is, we can define it as any period of protected time with an intense, singular focus. And by understanding seasons, we can use them to intensely focus on achieving a specific result in the short term so that that area of life can then be put on autopilot while we transition our focus to something else. Let me give you an example of what this looks like in my own life. In my first few years after graduating from college, I experienced something that is very common for people of my generation, the crippling cycle of financial debt. I had all the normal debts that a fresh college graduate has to look forward to, student loan debt, credit card debt, car loan debt, on top of paying super high rent on my own for the first time with my entry-level job and my entry-level salary. Pretty much all of my income that didn't go to paying bills went to paying just the minimum payments and interest on all my debts, and I felt like I would never be able to break free of that cycle. Fortunately, that was around the time I learned about harvest seasons for the first time, so I decided to give it a try. What do I have to lose? I picked up my first side hustle, tutoring local high school students in biology, and then soon after added a second side hustle, teaching English to Chinese kids online. I'm not going to lie, it was exhausting, and sometimes it sucked. I would wake up at 4 a.m. to teach my Chinese students for three hours, then head to my regular full-time job for eight hours, and then drive to tutor two to three high school students per day, often not getting home until 8 or 9 p.m. On Saturdays, I would spend the whole day working in my two side hustles, and I would take Sunday off. This was super intense for me, and I often did feel burnt out, but I kept myself going by remembering that it was only temporary. And it was. With the extra money I earned from tutoring, I was able to pay off my first credit card in only a few months. I then took all that money that I was paying on the minimum payments for that credit card and interest and put it towards paying off my second credit card, followed by my car debt and finally my student loans, using what's commonly known as the snowball method. And after a year and a half of that hustle, I was finally free from my debt. I was able to quit my two side hustles, and since then, my debt situation has been on autopilot or maintenance mode. Now, I work a normal amount of hours, I pay off my credit cards each month, and I'm able to focus all that time on other priorities in my life, knowing that my finances are under control. After experiencing the impact that harvest seasons have made on my own life, I'm a huge fan of using this method over the myth of balance. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'm excited to hear if it opens up any ideas or possibilities for you. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this other video I've made about how to amplify your time with a time audit to create more time for yourself during the week. So if you're interested, definitely check that one out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.